A rescued animal's second chance down in South Lubbock tells us they specialize in taking care of abused, abandoned, and starved horses, but doing that in this economy has gotten a lot harder recently. Kelby K's Elizabeth Fitz is at Double Nickel Ranch, where some much-needed help would be appreciated. This is Blaze. He's just one of 90 horses that have been rescued and brought here to the ranch. And the owner tells me they are in dire need of more resources like hay, water irrigation systems, and diesel. People want to bring us their horses, but we're at capacity right now because of the drought, the hay cost, diesel cost, feed cost. It's, it's just astronomical. From South Carolina to North Dakota and back to Lubbock, Rescued Animal Second Chance Horse Sanctuary has taken in 90 horses from all over the country, 68 of them that would have been killed otherwise. All ages, cripple, sick, whatever, they hang them up, slice their neck and start butchering before they're dead. So that's why I have 68 horses. Dr. Beth Nichols, the nonprofit's founder, says she works two jobs as a general surgeon and funds 80% of the organization by herself. But with rising inflation and more horses needing saved, that's not enough. You don't see all the dedication and the hard work it takes to keep this place running. Not just by me and just by the other employees, but by Beth. Some days it's more than we can do. It's impressive to see that she can come out after working all day at a hospital and still put more work in out here. The group also needs more water irrigation systems, which cost tens of thousands of dollars each. So with a little more help, Dr. Nichols says she can save those horses that are on their way right now to be slaughtered. We have the land. We have the land to build more pens, we have the land to, to, you know, have more water wells, but right now we need a lot more financial help. If you'd like to help this organization out, Texas Tech Athletics is hosting an event on August 3rd called Women Behind the Brand, and proceeds will come back to this organization. So we'll have information about that as well as other ways you can donate on our website, everythinglubbock.com. Reporting from Double Nickel Ranch, Elizabeth Fitz, KLBK News.